I and mean, as many of you know, I, I struggle a little bit with bushcraft. So today, and, and actually what I don't struggle with bushcraft, what I struggle with is batoning. Batoning gets me a little sideways sometimes. And, uh, and what people tell me is that, well, if you know what batoning is, you take a knife and you, you put a piece of wood, firewood basically upright, and you take your knife, put it on top, and you beat it through with another piece of firewood. And you split firewood that way. And what people tell me is that, well, it's necessary for a wet wood fire you know, if it's raining and, and all your wood's wet, you've got to be able to baton to get dry wood to start your fire. And today I'm going to debunk the bushcraft myth of a wet wood fire. Uh, all right, so as you see, this is the definition of wet wood. We just had a deluge, a downpour. A uh, deluge, downpour. I can't think of another uh, synonym real quick. Drenching. Another synonym would be drenching. We don't want any spoilers there, but uh, it's looking pretty good. Uh, and I'm going to start a fire using nothing but this wet wood, this wet wood, some of this fat wood, which is also wet. This was outside and got rained on too. My personally customized limbing axe, which we are working on a version of this to give away on the Patreon page, patrons. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this. It does really well. I might do a, a, another video on it. This isn't the one we're going to give away, though. Right. And a book of matches. Now, if the bushcraft boys are to be believed, this isn't possible. We'll have to baton. This is so stupid. <laughs> this is, I'll tell you what I'll do. Because all I'm about to do is, sp is split this wet wood and get small pieces of wet wood and start a fire. Uh, and, and this is what I don't get about batoning. You're just splitting wood. Why do you have to baton to split wood? Why can't you split wood with an axe? I just don't get it. And I'm not just trying to be funny or, or you're all hot takey or insulting. I don't understand why if, if what you want to do is split wood, if you want to take big pieces of wood and, and cut them down to get the dry pieces out of the middle, that's splitting wood. Why would you do that with, with a knife and not an axe? All right, let me set this up and <laughs> we'll do it. It's already filmed and you're just gonna keep it pointed at that piece of wood, all right? Okay. All right, so so just to, to deal with the bushcraft guys a little bit here, you know, the whole thing is you have a saw so you can cut the ends of your wood nice and square so you can stand it upright and baton it. Uh, I'm gonna show that you don't need to do that. This wood is obviously, you know, cut with a saw and I could split it like that. But you can also do it like this. No baton needed. All right, so that's what we're gonna be doing. Well, we're not gonna do it all this way. I'm just showing you this piece. And of course it's not gonna go right on camera. There we go. No baton. <laughs> All right, I'll get this set up and I'll bring you in back. Oh, one more thing. There is some, some dry charcoal in here. I'm gonna pull this out and set it all to the side. I'm making a fire for us to cook some dinner on. So I actually want this stuff for the, for the cooking fire, but it's not gonna be a part of the wet fire. And also, we'll go ahead and wet down our ashes a little bit so this is a little more fair. All right, here we go. All right, got a nice wet bed there now. All right, let me get this wood split up and I'll join you men in a minute. All right, here's our no baton fire. This should be all the fat wood we need. Hopefully I don't have to add any more. If I do, it's right here. This fat wood came out of a stump I found in the woods. All right, here's our wet wood. We got some more wet wood we're gonna put on once the fire gets going. All right, can we all see that? At this point, this challenge is actually probably over. Oops.
Yeah, I think it actually took me four matches or five matches to get that going. But it was, I mean, because the matches wouldn't light, actually. I mean, once I got one to stay lit, it took me two to get this going. All right, now the trick is really small pieces. All right, we'll pick y'all men back up in a minute. Okay, so what's important is getting these little pieces and you don't have to baton to get little pieces. This is cherry wood. Cherry is a hardwood. It's a very dense hardwood. And I'm still able to take those pieces I split off with my ax and just rip them down into little tiny pieces. No batani. Well, I don't want to be an asshole. Okay, that's good. All right, man, there you go. Uh, this is how much of that fat wood I have left. You can go back and see how much. I used a little bit, not a huge amount. I remember this is just something I found in an old stump. Uh, there you go, you can see the fire. Clearly it's to a point where it's uh, sustainable. I didn't use anything. I mean, you saw everything I used. So there you go. No baton, wet wood fire. I, I don't understand batoning. I don't understand what the point is. It's, it's still work to do a wet wood fire. There's no doubt. I mean, you've got to nurse it and you got to have all those little pieces. But no batoning required. Thank you, man. We appreciate you. And there she goes. It looked like it died in the end of that last clip, so we thought we'd show you. It didn't. It was just where it was at that moment. Still have all the firewood. Of course, now I'm out of the wet wood we had here, but I still got all the wet wood down there and all the wet wood down there. What are we cooking tonight? Chicken. Chicken. Daddy loves chicken. <laughs>